When you think about assets, what is the first thing that comes into your mind? A lot of people may say, my attitude is my best asset. My education is my best asset. Uh, my retirement um, income, that's my best asset. Well, I'm here to tell you that to me, to me, and in general, a little bit of research that I did, in general, people consider their first asset is their home or their main property. From there, it diversifies. And I want to bring this into the preparedness mindset. And I have seen this in the past. A lot of people say, I invest heavily in, in guns. I invest heavily in food and water and whatnot. I invest heavily in precious metals. And yet, they don't own their own home. And I know the common that I always get the same common. You're never going to own your house. you got to pay property taxes and whatnot. I want to, I want you all to understand that property taxes, you pay property taxes because of what you enjoy. Okay. What you enjoy, like the utilities, the roads and whatnot. That's why you pay taxes. For example, here, me, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska. In the area that I live, I have paved roads. I have access to different things, amenities, if you will. If I live 35 miles north of Fairbanks, there's zero taxes. There's also zero roads, zero electricity, zero water. I'm on my own. I have no service of any kind. You know, I have to figure it out. That's why I will not pay taxes. If I move away from here, here amenities, that's why you pay your taxes with that being out of the way. A lot of folks, uh, focus on a lot of different things, gold, silver, guns, food, water, uh, precious metals and whatnot. And they literally neglect the fact that if you don't have your home, your land paid off, you don't have anything that is your you're literally playing with your bug out location, if you will. Your main home, your castle, is not yours. The bank can come and take it if you don't pay the insurance. Actually, you are mandated to pay insurance if you have a mortgage. Depending on your location, you may be mandated to get uh, flood insurance. That's two insurances now. Depending on your location, you may be required to get fire insurance. That's three insurance right there. If you have a mortgage, not only you have to pay the principal, but now you have to pay the interest. That's a five things that you have to pay. Five things. You own it, those five things goes away. You're not required to pay any insurance or anything. You can pay if you want to, but you're not required. You see what I mean? You have power once you own it. And a lot of people neglect to think about that. A lot of people put their money elsewhere. And they want to, how can I put this? They want to diversify too fast before they finish with the first goal of owning their property. My biggest asset here in Fairbanks, Alaska was to get my property. To own my property. That's the first thing that I did. I own it. I don't owe anything in here. I pay yearly taxes. And that is about it. Mrs. D wants to pay insurance, but that's because she wants to. She wants that insurance, if you will. I don't have to. Why? Because I own it. Because I own it, I can do whatever heck I want. You see what I'm saying? It brings you freedom. Owning your stuff gives you the ability of telling of telling anybody, yeah, you don't have a saying, this is mine, whether you like it or not. You owing money, every time that you say to somebody, this is my house or this is my property, is it? Is it yours? Or you choose a glorify renter. 
I don't want to offend anybody. I'm just putting it like it is. If you are in the prepared mindset, be mindful that if you don't own your home, you have zero preps. Zero. Because if you don't have that note every month, they can kick you out along with your preps, along with your silver, along with your, I don't know, whatever, your toys, anything. You have nothing. You have now become a refugee without an SHDF. My question to you is, what you going to do about it? Would you stop doing everything and stop diversifying in things that you don't need right now and focus on the thing that you need the most, which is guaranteeing the roof over your head? Or will you continue to play around? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I always rock on, prep on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.